I just want to tell you that the world is about to be shocked by what is coming in 2023. And this is crazy to say, since I've seen a lot of interesting things and crazy things over the years. Personally, I've made over 3,600 videos here on this YouTube channel alone. So yes, this is crazy what's happening. And what makes things even worse is we're wondering, is this all a dream? Is what is happening right now, is this real? And the answer is yes. So make sure you stick around for this entire video and let me explain what is going on. And also feel free to share this video with your friends and family over on Facebook so they too know what is going on. But here's what I can tell you. I say this is crazy because of recent announcements. For example, one of the recent announcements, Britain is pledging to train Ukrainians, Ukrainian pilots, how to fly. And Ukraine is saying that it is preparing to use Western jets, even though none have been pledged yet. But it doesn't stop there. Another announcement that just came today is that Disney, a company that many said is recession proof, just announced today they will be cutting 7,000 jobs and trying to slash $5.5 billion in costs as it attempts to restructure. Again, these are crazy announcements. And some of this, again, is bad news, but it's not all bad news. We do have some good news. And that good news that came out just recently is that we learned that wholesale egg prices have dropped in recent weeks. Egg prices rose to record highs in December, but wholesale egg prices have fallen more than 50% since then. That is good news. That is really good news. And again, at least something costs less than it did just two months ago. But let's talk about something else. And one of the other things I want to talk about is what is Congress doing at this time? Because again, prices keep going up. Is Congress going to do something or pass some type of legislation to provide additional relief to the American people? Well, let's address the news out of Congress. What we know is that Congress is trying to fight the debt ceiling, which is putting Social Security, Medicare, and everything else that the U.S. government spends money on. It's putting that in their crosshairs. For example, here's what Republicans are looking to do as far as making spending cuts. And I want to be very clear on this. Some of these Democrats support, others Democrats don't. So let's look at a couple of the things. First off, we have budget cuts. Look at this. So right here, you can see that, uh, and I'll just highlight right here. This is from Representative uh, Chip Roy, okay? He says, the speaker has indicated his commitment to what we've all agreed to fighting to make sure that we restrict spending. And he also says right here, he's been pretty clear about needing caps and we're going to cap 2024 spending. So just be prepared. That is coming very soon. And another one, and this is one I want to be very upfront with you guys on. Just because this is being talked about doesn't mean it's actually happening. However, there is some support behind this. Look at this right here, work requirements. Now, where would we see work requirements? Well, I want to be very clear on this. Work requirements could come for SNAP benefits. They could also come for Medicaid. And this is what uh, Representative Dobb Bacon said. He said this, I think generally able-bodied people that don't have small kids and meet all the criteria should be seeking work. Again, this is from, uh, this is for Medicaid, but some are also talking about this as far as SNAP benefits, okay? Again, we'll be very clear on that. It could come. We could see, and again, I, I, I don't want to say this is going to happen, but we could see Republicans and Democrats agree that work requirements are a possibility. This is something that we could use moving forward. Now, again, let's be very clear on this. Does this mean you have to have a job in order to get Medicaid or in order to get SNAP benefits? No, but it could mean that you have to actively be searching for some type of employment, whether it's full-time or part-time, doesn't matter. So again, that's a possibility at this time as well. But let's talk about the big news. OK, 
Okay, I really want to talk about this big news. Okay, here's the big news. Right here, UK to offer to train Ukrainian fighter pilots uh, and will look for at potential jet transfers. That's interesting. I say this is interesting because, and you can see right here, fighter jet training offer comes as three other European nations announce they'll send more than 100 Leopard tanks to Kyiv. That's interesting. Okay, now, why is this such a big deal? Well, here's the reason why. The United States has not even remotely uh, considered sending uh, fighter jets, okay, to Ukraine. And why is that? Well, it takes years of training in order to be able to fly a jet. Not only that, but you have to fit, you have to know, okay, how to uh, do proper maintenance on that jet as well. If you don't, and something were to happen, guess what? That jet, that billion dollar jet, that whatever it costs, okay, and I don't know how much a jet costs, but I know it's up there. I know I can't afford one, okay? But that is so expensive for the United States to send to Ukraine just for it to be used a handful of times and then sit because Ukraine does not have the proper, uh, you know, uh, people the, the just even to figure out how to fly it maintain it, store it, they have nothing. So the United States is not gonna do that. But the UK offering to train pilots, Ukrainian fighter pilots, this is pretty much a, a sign that countries are going to think about sending Ukraine jets, fighter jets. And if this happens, guess what? We are all in trouble. The reason why we're all in trouble is because Russia blames the United States. If Britain decides to do anything, guess who Russia's blaming? The United States. If any country decides to help out, whether they're sending uh, you know, missiles, they're sending uh, fighter jets, or they're sending tanks, you know who Russia blames? Yeah, the United States. That's not going to change. So if we see uh, you know, any country decide to send more tanks, the United States will be blamed. Fighter jets, the US will be blamed. What is gonna come is going to be something that is very close to a war. Some experts are saying that right now, Russia and the United States will not go to war because, yes, this would be a world war, but because this would be devastating to both economies, both nations, and it would drag in many other countries as well. So. Even though there are talks of, yes, there's potentially some countries that are going to send fighter jets to Ukraine, the issue here is it takes years and years to perfect this craft. This is not, this is not gonna happen over just the next couple of months. They're, if they start now, we could see jets heading to Ukraine in the next year, but they may require a, another pilot somebody from Britain, somebody from the United States, just to fly them and maintain them. If that's the case, that will be devastating to all of us. So again, the world is about to be shocked by what's coming, but it might be a little ways away, right? So just keep that in mind and understand that we need to be prepared.